Hello, hello, everybody. It is iOS 15 week. I guess it's the start of the next week afterwards, but we are here. It's time to do some focus modes and home screens, iPad widgets, all of the above, and there will be some shortcuts, of course, too. So I'm going to just start right off. Um, today, I'm going to be covering how to set up focus modes for iOS 15 across all of your different home screens. I don't actually do a whole lot with the notifications and people, so I'm gonna be adding some of that right now, um, just as examples, and I will be taking you through, I think I have 15 home screens and is up to 20 focus modes. Um, there's currently a bug, I think it's in the iOS 15.0 um, release, but if you go in and out of the focus mode screen, the plus button comes back and you can add as many as you want. Although I will say, I'm pretty sure I'm starting to overload the focus modes that I have and some of the stuff starts resetting. So we'll be seeing some of those bugs today too. Um, I'm also running iOS 15.1 developer beta one because it does it fix some of the issues that are present in shortcuts. I just didn't want to run into that on the stream. Um, but let's just dive right in because I've got multiple devices and lots of screens to set up and a whole system to show you all. So let's do it. All right, here we are with my main iPad. This is 12.9 iPad Pro from 2018. I'm pretty glad I didn't upgrade to the latest one yet because the iPad mini just came out and now the new little screen, oh, not gonna put my password in on the screen, is got that slower refresh rate. And so I'm just glad, or I mean, I guess it's really the same as this one, but mostly just I was glad I didn't go up to the really, really nice screen and then come back down to a smaller one. But I'm gonna have this guy off to the side. And then I'm sorry for the display of excessive iPads, but I do have lots because I specifically try to review and understand how this stuff works. And let me tell you, I have spent a lot of time doing this. So this has been my kind of pandemic thing. <laughs> I've been sitting at home a lot. Um, so let me fix my camera a little bit. I'm a little small there. All right. How's everything looking? All good? Let me get that. I'll probably switch to dark mode and leave comments. I want to help people set up their focus modes too. So I will be jumping into the shortcuts user group discord after a little bit and looking at people's home screens and recommending them. But I just want to give a demo of what I'm doing right now. Um, so this is actually currently in my personal focus because iOS knows that this time of day I'm doing this kind of stuff. Just I'm not actually working yet. So here are all of my focus modes. Sorry for the reflection there. And let me just get it quick. That helps a bit. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. So I have, let me also start out here, just showing you the modes in this order, because this is more relevant. One thing that iOS does by default is puts personal and work and sleep up at the top. I think they might also do some of the other default ones, but I don't actually use them and I'll get into why later in the stream, but there's actually some pretty good reason. You know, I might, that dark mode is gonna glare a lot, so I am gonna do light mode. And then there we go. Let me turn off autofocus also. Okay, that should be better. Oh yeah, and I also will talk about Apple Watch too, because that is, there's some cool stuff that you can do there. Um, sorry, is there, also please let me know, is the iPad lagging? Okay, that is going a little bit slow, sorry. I think that's gonna be the best I can get with this. This I am running on the Mac OS beta, so. I can, if, it, if that is a big enough issue, people keep commenting and I have cords here and I can switch to the direct view too. Let me even just zoom in a little bit more so you can see the full thing. Okay, there we are. So in the focus modes, I do think the best way to start is just personal and work. Very simple one. 
I think also a great one is Weekend, but I get way too granular instead. And I kind of just like, <laughs> I ran out of home screens at a certain point, but basically I just kept going and added a ton of different ones because I had developed this entire system throughout all of iOS 14, specifically related to my shortcuts to separate what I'm doing out into different areas. So here in the shortcuts app, which I'm just gonna say, do I have to reset it? All of these different colors are different areas of my life also. So like this is my blog, that's YouTube stuff. And so I have these different color associations. I might actually, this is getting pretty blurry. I didn't, I don't know why it's going so slow, um, but I'll probably switch in a couple minutes. Um, but basically with this, I have these different areas corresponding to different pages. So let me just turn off focus. And then this red one corresponds to this home screen here. So basically I have all of my shortcuts in these various stacks and then different home screens dedicated to different focuses. And then you can see in here, let me just go in. Um, and basically once you come into this home screen area, see, this is what happens to me. I have so many home screens, this just has to load. And then even what's the reason I'm doing this again too, is because my devices have just completely, they like reset my home, my focus modes every once in a while. And it kind of drives me crazy. So I am going to have to reset some of these, but thankfully I took a bunch of screenshots and everything. So, uh, way back there somewhere. Did this a while ago. I might have moved. No, there we go. Okay. So basically the way that I see it, let me just take you through the home screens too. Not only do I have dedicated home screens for each of these. There we are. That's better. Let me just take you through each of them. And I've gone pretty heavy with shortcuts. I'm kind of debating this <laughs> because the aesthetic of just having all of the nice shortcuts based home screens is just very attractive to me. Like I can very clearly see which one is which, but also something like this is just more approachable to everybody like you watching the stream. This is an actual realistic one where I just have the widgets and it's not coded in shortcuts, but pro tip number one, keep your shortcuts widgets behind your other widgets. You can use stacks. Apple kind of advertises this as a feature that's a smart snack oh hit it with my knuckle and so like it kind of seems like you can only add these stacks and then it'll make recommendations about can't even swipe through them that's kind of silly um but any sort of widgets you can turn into stacks and then just keeping your shortcuts behind it makes it a lot easier because then you can kind of just jump in and grab it and a thing that i've noticed over time too i swipe up through the widgets I like swipe like this. And so sometimes I keep, this is sort of the top widget. And then I keep one that I like to access regularly, which is usually timery, which have also got reset. Um, then I can just swipe up and you can see them at the bottom of the stack. Just show some of these stacks too. That's also the other thing is every single home screen I've designed with stacks because I just feel like that's the best way to take advantage of all of this. Um, and I'll have a strategy for people who haven't done anything like this too. Like this is lots and lots of work. So I've gone, I'm just going to quickly swipe through all of these and I'm probably going to end up showing something. Yep. There it is. <laughs> the second I said it, life sounds like, Hey, at least it wasn't like you've gained a bunch of weight. Um, so then basically in the most simple way, personal turns on half of those home screens, all the ones that I just like to do in my personal time. I do like shortcuts. I'm a nerd. I like to, this is my home and music screen. And then this is kind of a research and learning screen. So there's kind of like reading materials and stuff like that in here. Um, this is my health one. So there's life sum again. I haven't logged my stuff today. Um, this is what I use for my newsletter, but also the web and stuff like Apollo or Twitter shortcuts here, app store in the middle and then kind of Google and things like that. Um, and I'll get to this in a second, but I have a consistent set of stacks that I have on every home screen also. So basically as I'm going through, oh yeah, here's weather. This is the one that I use for making my podcast, but I also just have been trying to listen to podcasts more. So I've been making that. 
and then this is my entertainment and then photography slash design. So some of these are multiple purposes too, because I got so far into shortcuts that not only do I have stacked or like separate colors, I start repeating and going through. And then I also just recently started doing it yet again. And so I have like three different sets of shortcuts. It's for personal work and then creative. Um, so I basically have focus modes for each of those and in ev various slices of all of these. So that's kind of my personal one. I'm pretty sure my work one got reset and just doesn't show any of those. So I'll just actually set that up again now. Here is work. Go into home screen. It shows up. And then so I do like to keep my main home screen and then I do shortcuts, YouTube, I don't do music or home related stuff. This is my writing one. Then I do research. Uh, this is business. That's health. So I'm not going to include it. I think uh, it's not showing me the colors, which so I am like, okay, yeah, that's my newsletter one. So I do include that. Um, that one's travel planning podcasts. Actually, I don't include the podcast, even though I do that for work because it's so separate from most of what I do that I tend not to show my home screen during the workday and then um, design also. And so basically when I come in and sit down for work mode, probably at nine, it might actually switch while I'm doing the stream. That would be interesting to see. But then now I just have all of these home screens dedicated to my work stuff and I don't have any of that health stuff sitting there either. Actually, you know what I do have, let me add in streaming as well. I forget that this is a, gaming and streaming home screen. So, so basically then I have a couple of people set who I can get messages from and then apps. I don't actually, I haven't bothered to set up most of these. You can see, I'll just go through like most of these. I only have a handful of stuff because first of all, I don't need the notifications, especially when I'm slicing this particularly. Like if I know I'm in planning mode, I don't want contact from most people. And so I end up just having a handful of people, but then like, I don't know, writing and stuff like that. I just haven't really bothered. First of all, like nobody needs to talk to me while I'm writing. Maybe my girlfriend, I should probably put my girlfriend in all of these, but I think for most of these, the overhead of setting up a new focus is actually, I saw people talking about this on Twitter and it's fair. It is a lot to try to be like, what is every single person that I know in my life that I could set up a f like who should be able to contact me? And so I would just skip it and go back to that later. Um, and so another tip, I guess, just for sort of setting up your own was you'll notice now I don't have almost any apps on my actual home screen. And this is just my iPad too. I will show you my phone in a minute, but I do have apps on the phone home screen because I'm not, I'm not crazy, but um, at least on the iPad, there's a couple of considerations. Um, I can't, I'll, I'll connect the keyboard in a minute and maybe I'll, I'll plug in at that point too. Um, but when you're using the new multitasking mode, I guess I could do it here. Um, what's something where I'm not going to show my personal information, <laughs> the discord, when you are selecting an app, oh wait, Okay, wait, how do I, <laughs> I'm, I'm so used to doing this with the keyboard. I don't think I ever use these touch controls. Okay, when you're going into here, you can, first of all, these are series suggestions, so I can always just pick one of these and it'll pull it in. Let me get uh, that out of the way. I'm gonna be showing some gestures too. I forgot about all that. Um, but when you're navigating, you can navigate with the keyboard and select any of these widgets or any of these apps. But the big thing is when you're in the focus, then you are focused on just the apps that you need from that home screen. I do keep a lot of these in folders because I like the curation, but then I can just still come in here, select some of this stuff. Uh, let's just do JSON and then I have these side by side. So that's like, I think focus in the marketing leans too heavily on <laughs> focusing and the power of multiple home screens dedicated to different contexts in your life is where the real utility of this feature comes in. Like that's what makes you actually be able to use all of the apps that you have on the app store or on your phone and take advantage of them rather than the number one thing that I see is that um, 
people end up just using spotlight all the time, which also I'll say like, that's fine. You can still use spotlight all the time. I use spotlight all the time here. Another thing too is like app library becomes more useful once you get into these more curated focus modes. So let me just show you that. Like, so in my shortcuts mode, ah, this is not set up right. Okay, let me do it on my phone. This is a, where a little more fun is. How's that looking? Okay, so this is my shortcuts focus mode. And then, okay, this is one, maybe not the most focused, but to be fair, I clearly do a lot with shortcuts. So there's a lot of different areas. My mindset is like, first of all, the home screen's gone. And so I'm focused on just shortcuts themselves. And then also, I didn't mention too, these are single shortcuts that set this focus. And they also do change the lights around me, but I don't actually <laughs> want that a lot. So I'm gonna, I need to rethink a little bit of that. But when I'm working on shortcuts too, I do wanna be listening to music and I'm gonna be writing about those shortcuts. I need to research more information and find different apps and things like that. Um, it is like the core of my business. And so I do a lot um, in WordPress and stuff like that on these home screens. Then I have a shortcuts newsletter that I make. So this is my way of like kind of making sure I focus on that. I need to plan a lot with shortcuts. I stream shortcuts and then I do take screenshots. So, okay, this one's too, <laughs> that one's too much. Uh, let me go into, the, I think music is a good example. So music, I just have my music screen and I'm around the house and then I like to research and I'm trying to take notes on how to learn guitar. And then also I do keep my main home screen because it's just like me messing around, having fun. I can go on Twitter and stuff. I don't really care there too. So that's like a good example of just a sp specific focus where I don't need to see all of this other stuff. And like, obviously you don't need all of those home screens, but that's kind of the point is I can, and then they are gone when I don't need them. So let me actually go back to one thing I haven't done because I have been working on these. Another thing you can do is just hide every single one of these when you're not in any focus. And then you really do have just one home screen. And then it's like, here, this is my actual home screen. And then what I realized too, as somebody who has had too many home screens for so long, it makes app library a lot more useful on the iPhone. And another thing with focus modes is it actually makes the today widgets more useful as well, because these are always accessible. So you can keep a lot of widgets here in the sidebar and then just have specialized home screens too if you don't want to go deep on widgets like I have. Um, I also, I love this kind of phone arrangement. I've just gotten like enamored with having little chunks and then different widgets in stacks too. Like this is my media widget stack up here. So I can listen to music, podcasts. I like Endel for soundscape stuff. This is just kind of the personal one and since I'm right-handed. It's off to the left, so I, I don't really reach. This is the one that just kind of rotates on its own. I love that iPhone photo that I took. Um, oh, just telling you where I am. Um, I need to go on a walk, I guess, and then take out the trash. Um, and then this is kind of my productivity home screen. Oh, man. I am having a lot of bugs in <laughs> iOS 14, um, but basically that's just my way to jump into things. And then I do have, this is another thing, shortcuts keeps wiping out my single widgets. That's supposed to be a change focus shortcut, which I'll just show you here. I do have to usually force quit shortcuts almost every single time I open it because it's syncing about 1400 shortcuts across five devices now. So it's kind of crazy. There we go. Um, change focus. So this I also set to match what's in this menu, but one thing you'll notice, this is just kind of a random order. I mean, maybe, I don't know why you would notice that, but um, <laughs> I noticed this, but I wish you could customize that order. So I've done that with a shortcut. It's a menu that just has this in the order that I prefer. And then I can just show you how I set that up. It is just multiple uses. And then I also, I set a, you can set a focus to a specific time using shortcuts too. So some of these I did like, pick, oh, I usually work on these for specific amounts of time. So in shortcuts, make sure to go in, and then I think it's in, is it in scripting? Yeah, set focus. Let's you set the specified focus on or off. 
So I think that's kind of some of the core of what I'm doing. Let me show you here too. Let me switch into some of these on my phone. Personal, you can see the same kind of thing. I have a slightly different strategy on my phone because I don't have as much space. I've been doing, ooh, I forgot to go through my main stacks. So I just, I mostly keep the shortcuts up here at the top so that they're all available. And then I've been trying to figure out again, let me know what you all prefer. Should I keep, should I have the shortcuts visible or should I start with the main doc, uh, a default app or some a third party app or something like that? Um, so let me go through the, the stack strategy on each of these home screens. I have that change to focus set reminder, set notes. And then also, let me see, some of these are kind of broken. I have craft documents for each of these, which, you know what, I know what happened. I tried to restore my phone and almost all of the apps are not, didn't actually download. So like, I, I have to go back through and fix some of this. I was forgetting, I'm on the new phone, that's what it is. And this is dreadful that I'm having frame rate issues because <laughs> this is a 120 hertz screen and it's, looks dreadful on this stream. So sorry about that. Um, so, but in these different stacks, oh yeah, timer got uninstalled as well. That's, that's the problem. I have shortcuts, reminder or notes, reminders is not in this one, craft and then things. And then I also have a timer stack. So basically each of those lets me on any home screen access the stuff that I need to do most for the work aspect of it. And then on the other side, I have a uh, just the personal stacks too. By the way, this is a cool widget to use now. So I think that's kind of some of the gist of what I've been doing. Um, let me pull the iPad back over too. How's everything going? I'm gonna jump into some questions here in a second too, so definitely post those. And if you haven't gotten into the Discord and drop those, please do. Um. I mean, some of the wildness with <laughs> rearranging these is kind of ridiculous. I did find that the more widgets you use, the more flexibility you have, even though it does get pretty busy. Um, but then like I can stick these on the right because I have those in the middle and kind of creating little like pockets for different sections or these could just be single apps as well, but I have them as folders. I kind of like this strategy. Another thing that's just nice is like making a straight line and then kind of like, see, look, it's even just like <laughs> bouncing around. Like why, why is that trying to <laughs> just absurd? And then like a little slice there. There's some interesting stuff. Ooh, you know, what's a killer thing that I didn't realize until like three days ago in iPad OS 15, when you rotate these, you can have a separate order. I haven't actually tried whether you can have separate apps. I feel like that probably wouldn't work, but you can actually rearrange these. But I will, and it's a little bit easier because there's not all that three column craziness, but like, look at that. Okay. <laughs> where, where was everything? Okay, I think it was like that. But just still, it kind of does fly around, so. Maybe just have a little patience. And I hope you're doing this right now if you're watching too, because like just, I honestly watched like trilogies, just watch a bunch of movies and sit down and do this. It does, I will say like even setting up all of this again, this doesn't include the, the thought process, but just the actual amount of time. I was able to reset up a whole iPad in an evening. So it does take a lot, but um. David, that's a, oh, you, you, you use reduced motion. I'm not into that. Um, this is, it's also my stream is, is low quality things, but I like all of the motion in between these. Um, another quick tip for with, uh, home screens, you can swap between them like this really easily here, wait, not even in focus mode. So that's a one big thing is like when you have this many home screens, it's actually fine because you can just like access the one that you need quickly and get to it and even just kind of get some mental placement of like, oh, that's near the end, and this is near the beginning. So that's a lot there. Let me see. I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, another good tip 
is to hide every screen you're not working on so that if you're dragging stuff out of app library, library, excuse me, <laughs> I need some water. That was just, um, then you're just not scrolling across all of your screens and messing them up. You can just easily drop it right in. Um, another thing I'd say too, if you're in the realm that I'm in, never use all of your screens. If you use this last one and it gets filled, it will kick everything off back to the rest of your screens and just kind of blow up what you've done. Um, another good tip that this has came in this year is you can rearrange these. I'm just going to stop for a second and just like think about doing this, which I did in iOS 14 without any of the widgets and just pure folders. And these were all single shortcuts added to the home screen in folders. I did all of this in order and then it broke them multiple times. So like, I'm not joking when I told, tell you that I've spent like 200 hours on these home screens, but it also like, I guess I just haven't gotten into the bulk of that is that it, it works so well. Like this is ridiculous and it's obviously so much but it works so well. It's so good. And it's just like throughout the day, I can just be like, oh, okay, like I need to do some design work. This is all broken. Okay. <laughs> this is the wrong device to do this on. Um, when it actually sticks, it's like, okay, I just need to do some design work. Okay. I can focus on the WordPress and then the design shortcuts that I have in here, which are not, okay. That stack got cleared. But there's supposed to be design shortcuts in here that um, like open up into Elementor. And I don't actually use this on my phone. I do use it on the iPad, but um, it'll open up into like the deep link web pages for that kind of stuff. So let me just show you some of these iterations because that's what's fun. When I'm focused on just the business tasks shortcuts, then I have some of those, those other like messages. And um, man, so many of mine got broken on this phone transfer. That did not work well. Um, the newsletter and then sort of planning long-term stuff and then also that kind of design work and then also like the important thing is even though there is overlap across these screens that's why i have this to switch back into those different modes and actually you can see behind me here let me turn it i have the lights turn pink when i'm in like the photography or design mode here so it's kind of absurd you know what it's probably trying to set my apple watch oh yeah that's the other thing i haven't showed yet so now I have Apple Watch faces corresponding with all of these as well. Um, so let me show you how I set those up. Okay, good tip, Josh. Um, let me let me see if I can throw that on screen with Ecamm. Um, This one here, so you can have multiple versions of the same app. And so I've seen, I do like see a lot of the joke version of this. Oops, sorry, that should be over there. Um, or I'll just throw you up there next time. Um, where it's like, you can have the same app many, many times. I don't like, sh yes, that is a demonstration of it, but let me just show you. Let me put these back on. I have like practical reasons that I actually use this and it just makes the most sense to me. And I'll explain also how it fits into the home screens and then I'll jump back on the Apple watch. But this is, I think this is an important point before I move on. Um, like when I'm in a focus mode, those other apps aren't on the home screen. And so like, let me just jump into the shortcuts one. Actually, you know what? Okay. I know personal is working, but, um, so like I don't have any of those work things on here, but let me see a good example is Twitter. So I have Twitter on like my social media page and then I also have it. Um, let me see, where did I put it? The other one, or I guess also um, YouTube I have on the entertainment page here. And then like back, I have it in the widget too, because I do just like to focus on what is actually relevant in those moments. Another example is Airtable. I like I do my shortcuts catalog. And so I try to log that stuff through Airtable. I also do have it in the doc though. So it's like this, 
I like to have, I mean, first of all, the doc is gone. So like anytime you're in a folder, those apps are just the ones that you see. And so if you're selecting, you want to have that complete set, like you can curate based on the home screen and have all of the apps that you need for that specific context, regardless of whether it already exists or not on a different home screen. It's like home screen. And especially once you hide all those home screens, that's where this is even more relevant is you're instead of just like hiding and showing multiple, you're actually changing and completely getting rid of them. And they are in the app catalog or the app library and everything, but Apple curates this for you. And like, I personally still like a good example is all of my finance and productivity. Like this one should be the most useful. And I find it the most confusing because it has finance baked into it or like information and reading. I mean, that's a little different. Uh, what was the one creativity? which is also not exact, like this has photography and design stuff in different ways or like YouTube that just doesn't mix together to me. So I basically keep those different versions on the same home screen. Yeah, okay, here's another one, like the app store. I go in when I'm trying to find apps for uh, that have shortcut support, I can go in there. But when I'm looking at my newsletter and just trying to link to a most recent um, thing that I found, I wanna make sure it's still available in here too. I guess I keep it in it, um, in the internet category. So like these are all multiples as well. So like, I don't, I don't know why, like the other reason is just like a good visual, but there's actually a practical use is accessing it from a different screen when the others aren't available. Okay. Let me show you some of the automations that I have set up too. And there's different, there's different levels of triggering focuses and other things that happen when you activate automations. Um, so in general, I have all these other automations, but let me see. Oh yeah, it's down here. And then this always lags because I have like 45 different um, <laughs> NFC tags set up. Yeah, I tend to, in case you can't tell by the stream, I tend to go a little bit overboard on stuff. So I just, I do just have every single uh, automation does turn on a watch face because um, basically I just like this to happen. I like to have in the same same way all of my home screens change. I wanna make sure that the watch face has changed too. But let me just show you here, create personal automation. Every focus mode that you get, that you create, creates a personal automation for that focus mode. And you can also do it when you're turning on or off. Um, Ben McCarthy was asking about um, being able to just have when no, or it's like when I turn off any focus mode, that would be a good option too. I thought do not disturb could do that, but it's it kind of overrides everything now. This is also a new shortcuts automation if people didn't know about it, sound recognition. So that's pretty nice. Um, although it's the same thing. I don't, it's pretty like, if I just knocked on this table, I wouldn't necessarily want that shortcut to run. So I don't do all of that, but um, some of the consideration with focus modes is that you can either have it be when an automation turns on, something happens, or you can have a shortcut that you run like I do that just sets that focus mode and then does something. And so that is, that's the difference between basically this just always happening and I can trust that this situation will always be like exact and then I want these things to happen versus this mode is like I know I'm choosing to do it so I know what context I'm in and then I know like do I want these lights to turn pink that's a very good example like I did all of these and went overboard and now like my lights just turn red in the background because I'm in the video mode but oh yeah see timer is broken again um but if I have, I didn't want that exact thing in the automation for the video mode, because if I just was like out and about and wanted to shoot videos and switch into focus mode, my lights would be turning red at home. So I also don't even honestly love having this in here. Perfect example is the fact that this just turned on while I'm doing a stream and then now I have to turn it off again. But I just like this, I like the time tracking part for sure, because that's like, I know that I wanna be tracking my time. I'm switching into that focus intentionally. So that's why I use the timer up there. Um, 
But I mean, do other people have like specific things that they would want? I think the Apple Watch, um, the home screen is another one that I think you can get into. But because I have this variety of home screens per focus mode, it didn't feel like it fit as well to me. I guess now that I think about it though, that'd be pretty fun. Like just to have the whole background, which I now just realized is black and shouldn't be because I have some automations in here. This should be setting my background. Oh, you know what? This action is broken. <laughs> the home screen thing is broken. So problem solved, you can't do it yet. So uh, there you go. That's the answer. When iOS 15.1 comes out, why don't I do another stream and let's do some backgrounds. And and I'll say challenge for everybody watching, take some photos that you want to use as your background between now and then, because that is like the, be intentional with that. Do focus or like portrait mode or whatever, get some good stuff. That's a lot of fun. And then we can set those all up. Um, let me show you some of those watch faces too though. This is gonna be a little bit hard, but so here's my video watch face, my home watch face, research, which I still like barely know how to use this watch face. I think you're supposed to, there's something where you like count up 45 minutes. It's like if I've been working for 45 minutes, I can track that, I don't know. <laughs> This one is like interesting, but they really need some guides. I'd, I'll make some videos if people also help me figure out exactly how they all work. Um, also, man, see, I'm you can just tell I do so much that stuff just has trouble loading. So I'm looking forward to get the Series 7. Uh, this is my podcasting one. I think I have a couple others here just at the end. Like, oh, this is the new portraits one. That's fun. And then you can also zoom in and out on the people. That's a cool detail there. Sorry, this, ah, man, I really got to work on the quality. This is what I get for getting on the Mac OS beta early, but this is, these are my personal ones too. So I do have two, usually two focus modes per home screen also, because I just don't have enough home screens, but you can kind of come in here and see, like, this is my messages one, my health. Um, and you can have like, like 50 home, Apple watch faces. So you can have even more than the home screens, which is nice weather stuff um and then that's kind of just like a personal daytime thing so the other detail with focus modes that's important let me go in here just some of these other things like do i want to be sharing my status with people i should actually tr probably turn more of these off I, like you don't need to know if I'm cleaning my house. <laughs> like that's kind of the home mode here. And then this is kind of like, oh, like I want to get these sort of, sort of notifications. Um, one thing that is nice, let me check these off screen before I reveal my personal information. It can, um, shortcuts can like, or uh, the focus modes can prompt you to break through. It doesn't look like I have any right now. Oh, here's a good example. Like, do you want to keep, oh wait, that's just regular notifications, which I haven't set up. Um, so that's nothing shame on, on card pointers. Um, but like these are time sensitive. So it can actually, you can like set whether it should be able to break through or not. Um, let me see if I can, Oop. they've changed some of these settings. So like you can make sure it breaks through deliver immediately instead of through, um, just the notifications. Also a nice feature, announced notifications is actually pretty awesome. You can like go through and have, I have like Amazon stuff I wanted to an announce to me, any of like my Amex and Bills things. If I'm wearing my headphones, it'll just be like, hey, like you're out of money. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, and then the other details, uh, yeah, people have discovered that. I don't do much with the lock screen. Like you can have it actually like hide most of your stuff and not even ever show stuff on the lock screen. So what, what mode am I on now? I'm in YouTube, let me just turn that on. Maybe I should do that for my streaming one. Let's just see. 
So it, oh, I see. It's like the do not disturb style where it won't even, you won't even read them. So it's still, you can still see you have notifications. It's actually nice. I didn't think I had set, set that up. I've, <laughs> these settings have reset themselves so many times that I did just kind of, <laughs> I'm going to have to go through again after the stream and do some more. But the other stuff, okay, that's right, is the activation. So I do have smart activation turned on on most of these. And let me tell you, it's not that great when you have 20 of them because <laughs> it's kind of hard to figure out what your patterns are. But the personal and work ones are pretty easy and I just need to use these more. And the thing that is always a bummer is when you get a new phone, it loses all of that data. Um, but this is a good example. So this is one of the default ones that you can turn on at wind down. And so I do have that one set. Um, but then what you can do is you can have shortcuts to trigger those focus modes at specific times a day. So here's a good one is that when I record my podcast, it just turns on the focus mode for me, starts time tracking, and then also lets me know. But you know what? What's funny is shortcuts can't be set in notifications. So I need to change this because it doesn't actually break through and you don't have the option and that needs to be fixed because it makes shortcuts notifications kind of pointless. Um, but basically these also trigger, <laughs> my girlfriend said she was uh, getting donuts. So it looks like one of those is here. <laughs> Heck yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna look through some of your your suggestions in a minute here. Um, See, this is what I get for, I think she's able to break through my YouTube, or I think you can also have a VIP who can always break it, break through. Um, but basically you can have, this is what I do, is instead of having their CarPlay one, I have my own CarPlay one that turns on my travel mode. So just because I wanted to call it travel and have a different icon and they didn't let me. So that was why I did this. Um, the other one was workouts. I also didn't want, I wanted a health face, not a fitness face, because I prefer that mentality. And so um, I changed it and just made my own. And then also all these other things trigger when I do it too. So that is what's kind of nice is if you don't like the options that, um, oh. okay, <laughs> just make sure I'm not, not trying to show my thread with my girlfriend. Um, where did it go? Is the travel, that's right, travel one, or like the fitness one. Oh, I can still set up more. Hmm. Wow, I'm surprised. <laughs> um, these ones only let you do like specific stuff. And I think even, oh yeah, the driving one doesn't let you change the home screen, which is fair. Maybe you shouldn't be looking at your home screen. I didn't, I didn't think about the auto reply thing. I sh maybe I should set this one, but the difference is you know what, I might actually keep it because I have enough, but I just wanted one that I had a travel home screen too. Like I go travel places and I want to have specific things like um, this is just the outdoor home screen and then planning so I can see my list of stuff and then photography because I want to take more pictures while I'm out. It's so like that's a perfect example of a focus mode that actually makes sense. And also I can trigger it my own way using shortcuts instead of through these schedules here like they don't allow all of those other automations that are available so it's kind of odd but all right i think i've gone through mine the most if anybody has more specific questions on the homes on my home screens feel free to drop them in but i want to set some other people's too um yeah okay i saw some jane the wallpaper that was definitely in there um YouTube video on how to use the chronic app watches. Okay, perfect. Uh, if you if, if you can find that, Josh, send it to me because that'd be awesome. Um, ooh, also, I think I just heard my donut. So I'm going to, let me just <laughs> go grab that real quick. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Who doesn't like donuts? I'm not going to eat it all on air. Okay, let me know if I answered this question. Can you trigger focus mode based on the shortcut or the opposite shortcut based on a focus mode? Yeah, that would be, if the focus mode sets, that would be the one that you have in here or you set up an automation. 
and then that responds to the thing and then you can have the shortcut that you trigger with the set focus action and then that sets off um the focus so you could have like an infinite loop of like the focus sets off a shortcut that sets off a trigger that sets off a shortcut and just keeps changing but i don't know why you would want to do that um, <laughs> yeah but i did set just single focus modes for each of these um this one's also nice if you do just set any focus off it will just turn off the current focus i guess it'll crash shortcuts also um <laughs> That's just kind of how it goes. Um, and then I've also tried to like do some other clever stuff there, but that's for another video. All right. A um, couple other questions. Reliable automation triggers. That's what I was, I kind of hesitated when I talked about the Apple Watch things because sometimes, first of all, like I don't even notice. Like, okay, that was on the, the travel face. Um, let me just test it. This is another thing. It's like, how reliable are they for you? Not very reliable in the betas at all, but they should be more reliable now. It kind of just sees how it goes. And then it's also like a thing where it's like, give it a second. Oop. Wait, you know what? Because of all my settings being wonky, it might not even work. Oh yeah, that, that went right away. So that's my work face. Okay, yeah, so they're pretty good. I think it's once you get into that realm of like a shortcut that triggers a focus and then the focus triggers an automation, sometimes it can lose track of it. So it's not perfect, but that's not on me, honestly. Like it, if it works as well as it should, then it should work. But that's kind of just like one of the realities of, I think also just the Apple Watch itself kind of has some, or like, I don't know. Maybe I should just send this video to Apple and be like, hey guys, people are doing stuff like this, so you should optimize for it because this happens to me a lot that it just doesn't work as well because I'm obviously, like, I don't think Apple ever planned for any, look at, do you see those stacks? Look at how many freaking widgets I have. Like, there's no chance that the, the iPhone 13 Pro Max maybe is optimized for this, but like, Every other device probably isn't. And I don't really blame them because at a certain point, I'm the first person who's ever done anything like this. So it's kind of ridiculous. Um, uh, here's a good, just a random thing, the file stuff. Um, I actually need to set up more versions of these. But if you're setting up a files widget, once you drop it into your spot, you can switch it to a specific folder. Oh, it does have to be in your favorites. Maybe that's what you were noticing. So I would favorite it and then put it in here and then you can access it and it'll show you like, I have a whole screenshot system too. <laughs> I was making fun of this brand because I said their logo looked like Taco Bell and they just like did not get it. And I was like, all right, well, that totally looks like Taco Bell. <laughs> I was not expecting to talk about that on the stream. Um, all right, let's do some of everybody else's focus modes because I think that's what's also more interesting. Like one of the problems that I have is that I'm just so like obviously deep into shortcuts and I go really all out and most people don't want this much. I'd say my iPhone home screen would be some good inspiration. I think just like having double and then two singles or another thing that I was doing is like that. You can put them on the side, even if this just wasn't here. This was my original setup, but you are just kind of wasting space. So I did, I like that if you add one single more shortcut, it breaks that, or one more widget, it gives that its own row. And so this is nice. Plus also another major thing, this is actually a tip I forgot to mention earlier. If I add in any of these, it doesn't blow up the home screen. And so you can still have the ability to mess around with a single new widget without just completely destroying everything. So it's like a optimized version for that. Um, yeah, this is like, I prefer kind of the L shapes and then something like that. Um, and I honestly, you can see too, I don't use a single heavy stack. Actually I did back here, which I should probably, this is kind of dumb. Um, because I can keep it over here. And another, I guess a tip too, that maybe if you didn't know about this last year, if you use multiple series suggestions widgets, they will, st first of all, they don't stack, but they do account for each other. 
So once you have these in here, it'll take a second. I think it's going to the home screen again, does it? It'll like know that there's multiple. And so you can keep curating them. And so you can actually, let's just do this. Let's see what the iPad gives me back on my last screen. Oh no, I gotta get on the, you can't get onto that extra last screen if you're inside of focus mode. Oh, that's right. Actually, you just need to be doing this. Siri suggestion. I always forget the swipe keyboard. I've been using it since I mentioned that. Here's another tip. This is one I forgot. If you just add the shortcut, the widgets panel closes, but if you drag and drop it, it'll pop back open and you can make multiple. This, that's the killer tip. This is what, sorry, I should have told you this at the beginning if you're doing yours because this way you can just keep adding and you don't have to go back and search for the dang thing anymore. I use this with the shortcuts one over and over again. This is the way to get the speed. Look at this. Oh, I'm excited for when this populates. I like the anticipation here. <laughs> I think that's, all I see is the ad, that Apple TV logo. All right. Come on, Magic. Refresh in front of us. Oh, no. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, maybe I'm overloading it a little bit. Wow. It can't even fill it out. <laughs> oh, that was good. That's hilarious. Maybe the newest iPad can, can handle it. Uh, there might be a little bit too much memory going on, but this is like, okay, let me show you the iPad thing too. And then I'll get into your home screens. I'm not gonna be able to show this super well, but let me like bring the focus up. I'll show you just the basics from this angle. If I'm in here and first of all, new keyboard key to do all of those things. Is it option? Um, you can navigate through all of these using the arrows. You can't see a whole lot where to go. I lost the arrows now. Oh yeah, it's on the dock. Um, so where to go? Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to see on the, in the stream, but like Instapaper or Airtable there. Um, and then let me go back all the way to the home screen. Even if, okay, wait, <laughs> my brain, I'm trying to do, this is what's kind of confusing is that you can't like fully use the keyboard until you get out of apps, but uh, you can select widgets as well. So you can see it on the, the home screen thing there. So like anytime you're at all of your widgets also act as the icons. And so that's where, when you're like, oh, I need to get, can shift a into the app library. I can now go navigate around this with the keyboard too. So like you don't get punished for using your home screens to this degree. And I can still access anything that I need at any point and just search for it too. So like there is a lot there's, I'm going to make a whole video about all the gestures in the home screen um, stuff. That's like one of my most popular YouTube videos is explaining how they worked last time. Um, and it's pretty much still the same, but now there's new commands for all that too. But, um, Ooh, this is a thing I forgot to show you that is just kind of related to the home screen setups is the app pairs. Um, I think this is a great shortcut that people should set up too for each of their focus modes. And this is actually, you know what, this is, I think the killer focus mode trigger Let's, okay, I'm gonna process this live. Should it be a shortcut or should it be an automation for a focus mode? I think probably a shortcut, if only because um, one of the things with focus modes is if I set up my iPhone, I don't want iPad apps opening in split screen <laughs> when I'm not using my iPad. Oh my goodness. Why? Why is that not? That it's, is tripping out. Did Mike? Oh, I felt there it is. Aha. Okay. We're good. App pairs. This is the thing that you can do with shortcuts now. Um, and I'll also show you the gesture app. Nope. Split screen. That's what it's called. Okay. It's in scripting split screen apps. Um, 
and I'll also mention a bug that has been, okay, I'm not going to show my one password. That doesn't make sense. Um, sure. Airtable and, um, why is it so hard to not to find things that don't show my personal information? <laughs> Apollo. Sure. This just opens apps side by side. So you can have any shortcut that's just like, I don't know, I'm curating Reddit into my Airtable database. Um, I can just have a shortcut for that. Or it's like every time I open my music focus, let's do that. Um, where'd you go? Music. Oop, is that the wrong one? I actually like that. I don't. <laughs> The fact that that gesture thing has been around and I still barely use it is pretty bad. Um, and notes, and I'm actually gonna add another angle here. Show folder. Get out of here, move keyboard. Once you also open the app, then you can have a shortcut to open you in a specific section. So I'm pretty sure I don't even have anything in this folder, but like watch, it opens up my music app and then my music folder with like Okay, let's do guitar chords. Good year chords. <laughs> guitar. Oh, that was the worst. There it is. So like, boom, already in it. You could even have the focus mode automatically take me there. Um, the other thing, if you don't want, let's say I want to do guitar. Guitar. Okay, I thought I had ultimate guitar. Um, what's another music app? Why am I blanking? <laughs> uh, I have some of the stuff in Airtable, so I'll just do that. Airtable and notes, and then here is an update to the open app action. Let's you put it in slide over. So I can have music pop over. Boom, boom, boom. Anyone like angels and airwaves? <laughs> I used to, I've been listening to it again. But pretty not bad. Um, oh yeah, nice guitar tuner app, ready and slide over, perfect example. So that's why you can really go deep on all of these. And I feel like, I don't know, like my shortcut stuff is almost too far compared to just some of these simple things that's just like per focus mode, maybe on that, ooh, that's what I should do. Okay, that's it. This should, when I trigger this, it should open the, the apps that I need to focus on the most. And I'm gonna say for videos, it's probably what do I do on the iPad the most is probably write stuff in Slugline. Slugline, and then I have my craft notes, actually in craft and slide over. And then even craft can do, I can open to a specific document, but I do want to put it in that s spot. <laughs> videos boom um what else and then my notes folder video topics or no i need inspiration sure oh come on craft mm. yes nice that's pretty awesome. See, like this is this is all the perfect kind of stuff. And then that shortcut runs from this home screen button. Plus I can also do all of my other shortcuts and all the apps that I need in various categories. So like this is, I don't know, maybe I'm just like, I don't literally hear you guys reacting. So I'm like waiting for somebody to be like, yeah, this is awesome. Cause I love it. I'm so excited. So I hope you guys are setting up something like this too. Um, all right, it's ever. Oh, here's a good tip. Gabriel, all my shortcuts won't show the icon. They show the Google Assistant. They only show it when I'm editing. So this happens when there's only one action in shortcuts. And I realized this the other day that I had developed a whole strategy of adding comments purely because once you add more than one comment, the icon actually shows. So that's why you'll see, I don't have a single app, or like there's some, but these are all ones. First of all, that's probably just a bug and it shouldn't be happening. Yeah, see, like it'll get rid of those if you put two comments in, or also if you have comments and you switch them, 
it'll hide that icon. So that's something that I actually, I just like the consistency of all the icons because I, the app is like confusing to me at that point, especially once you add it to the home screen. Good question, Gabriel. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm like, hello? No, I'm just kidding. Um, all right, let me jump into, I, I missed some earlier questions. Um, all right, ooh, nice, Jing's getting, getting into it all. Um, yeah, okay, I did show this earlier, but how the focus modes can set out just those different home screens, and that menu does load late, so that could be part of the confusion too. Um, all right. Um, I think I did actually get most of those. Oh yeah, David, The this happens to widgets. Like, I mean, you can see it happen in this mode. It also, it honestly, I think that's a memory thing because once you get to like those later pages, ooh, did it finally load those? Nope, it still can't do it. <laughs> it's like, that's kind of the issue. So older devices can't go this deep into it for sure. Um, this level of organization always gives me, you hope, man, that should give you a, <laughs> you should feel bad for me. <laughs> Um, and then I didn't, I don't think I showed this, but how do you put the shortcuts into the stacks? Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. That's a, I can't believe I didn't mention that. These are all folders. Every single one of these is, has its own separate folder. And I like design the shortcut strategy based around this. Um, and first of all, only the first four show in these small stacks and then the second four show in the tall stacks. So at least right now with the shortcuts ones, I am only using the first four of most of these regularly. Some of these are other ones that I'm like working on, but otherwise, um, ooh, I got competition for Mike right now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, um, but then a uh, big thing is like, my strategy is that some of these stuff I do on the iPad, I put in the lower four and then the top four are on the iPhone because those are the only ones that actually show. So there's another technique with shortcuts. Um, and also in here, you have to set the folder this way. And I do think I can test this. Let me see if this still exists in this version. I'll do it over here. There's like a thing where if you add, oh, uh, another good widget tip I just remembered. If you're in a stack and you go to add a widget, it will only show you widgets that fit that stack size. So start out with the stack and then enter it and then you can add these. But there's like a shortcuts bug I think where if you add a shortcut to an existing stack, sometimes you can't select the folder. And so you might have to have the folder out first and have space for it, then set the folder and then drag it back in. And I mean, I mean, I even have shortcuts reset the folder once I've, I mean, if I add like 45 widgets <laughs> to the home screen at once, it kind of loses track after a while. So like stopping, even like turning off the, or like, Closing or locking the device and then unlocking it seems to like give the home screen its memory back or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. I have all these like theories in my head that I've made from just like being in this for so long. But um... oh yeah, nice. The one com comment thing worked. That's awesome. Um... Ryan, this is totally fair. And I'll say like, this is the reason I'm on the internet and sharing my shortcuts. Um, I haven't, I got, I had some like family matters the last couple of weeks. So I kind of missed this release window, but I'm going to be sharing, I think about half of these shortcuts again on my website. I have a whole shortcuts Kyle. Like I got to stop. I got to clear my browser and not that I, <laughs> it's like just work stuff. It's not anything creepy. I just always, it's like weird to show people your internet history. <laughs> <laughs> on the internet, um, on a live stream, but I have my own websites. Where's my key? Oh, there it is. Um, where I share all of these shortcuts and it's, it's slightly under construction right now, but in here, like almost all of this stuff is going to be out and available for people to get. So like I've got some curated stuff, all these categories here. I'm, this is the new thing that I'm adding is like you can go in and see all the ones that work with just the share sheet and then I have a whole membership program too so 
That's why, like, I'm, I mean, I guess I didn't make that connection fully. It's like, you don't have to learn all of this from scratch and nowhere to this degree. Also, like I recommend people go through my shortcut stuff and like pick two or three out of these folders once I share them. And then you'll be able to kind of get jump in and see, or just like look at what the actions are included and then you can kind of get going there. So, uh, I think just cause you saw that, uh, I think this is just something from the Kindle website. I don't, I don't, I haven't even tried it. Um, but I'm going to scrape it and turn it into a shortcut. So stay tuned for that later. Um, nice. I'm glad the, you're getting ideas from this. Um, let's, let's get into some. And so if you can, uh, I put it at the beginning of the chat, but, um, there's a shortcuts user group where I've been inviting people and it does look like people have been joining. So that's cool. Um, but let me put some home screens in. I'm going to just look at these for a second. I just don't want, I don't know. I guess if you put it in here, I'm so paranoid about revealing my personal information on the streams because it's so easy. Um, so if you're watching this, here, let me, let me, I don't have the link handy. Um, I just want to like, if somebody has the link, uh, can you, or like, or let me just make it one. Sure. Seven days, whatever. Come on. Is that, did it copy it? Okay, I'm gonna put this in there for you. Join the Discord. Okay, let's get some examples. Why Discord? Why is that left aligned? All right. Um, so I was going to, I'll save my first tip for later. I think some of the basic that, I mean, you just got to like dive into this. This is brat. Um, I like, I like the simple setup. I mean, let me see. I would definitely put files over off to the left as a widget because that access is really nice. Um, Plus it just takes you right into the files app automatically. I also, I really like the music widget. Like I'm a big fan of that. And even the app store widget is pretty nice. So you could stack that on there. Even maps and um, photos. I like, I like stacking all those kinds. The one I didn't mention earlier was a uh, U widget is this YouTube widget that first of all, I have it set to show just like my stats, which is kind of cool. I'm, trying to get back into making more YouTube videos. Um, but then is it, here it is. Is it actually can like show you YouTube videos from your channels on your home screen? So like I actually use this a decent amount. It's pretty awesome. Um, so that's a good one. Oh, come on discord. Why do you got to take me back down? Let me see. I want a one for Plex. I actually really like Plex and I use it pretty regularly too. Um, Tweetbot does have shortcut support. And so I don't remember if they have a widget, but um, if you can put a stack behind one of those other ones, you could put a Twitter shortcut in there. So that's pretty nice. Um, and I have, I have a bunch of shortcuts for settings also that make it nice to deep link into those areas. So I feel like I can, I can give you like tons of these. So uh, Brad, I will, I'll respond to you later and mention that what time is this? <laughs> yeah, I'll mention the timestamp. Um, bye for me. So you're already in on this. I don't think that I ask. No, those are not stacks. So I think stacks are a really good opportunity. Um, I can see the right handedness here. Oh, sorry, Tony. It's, it's called U widget. All one word. Uh, let me show you. I think I can just, it's like a, actually just an iPhone app, but it doesn't really matter because it's only a widget anyways. And then it's just like, I think you do have to pay for it, but I like it. Um, what? <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, hmm, let me see. So I think one of my tips for focus modes, getting set up yourself is a, a good opportunity is either if you have like one of these chunks, that's like personal versus work. Those are obvious like setups, but each folder could be its own home screen. Like, I think that's kind of the easiest approach is 
it kind of depends if you do want to go that far. Um, but that just gives you the opportunity to take advantage of those widgets to make shortcuts for those folders and then put them on the home screen and actually be able to access them. So I think that's like my biggest tip. Maybe something like messaging wouldn't be worth it. Or that's why I also start to lean into stuff for like audio. I would probably do an audio stack. Um, so either a stack or a home screen for those. Speci- that's actually probably the better tip is like break apart those folders, turn one into a stack. Then because you can put multiple widgets in there, you can get that space back and they can rotate through. And then if you have like something like video, I think would be good for its own home screen because that is a pretty specific mindset. Um, so that's pretty fun. Yeah, Michael, I was at, I was saying this earlier and it doesn't actually work right now. You can have automations to set the different wallpaper. Um, but you want to make sure it works across all of the home screens you have set as well. So I'm going to do another stream setting up wallpapers probably maybe next month. Uh, I mean, I guess it's already September, but like probably in a month or so. Um, okay, let me see. I think what else could be good here? Social and news are pretty similar, so that could be its own space too. Although I like to keep those just access, like even for how much productivity stuff I have on here, my home screen is just kind of like my home screen and not work related at all, except for some of that stacks down in the corner. And then the rest kicks me off into those focus modes. So that's my strategy for that. Um, even communication stuff, like I have shortcuts here. Look, you got FaceTime twice on your home screen. Eh, that's fine though. And I like to keep the battery widget off to the left as well too. Um, or actually, you know what? Mine's in that stack. And the reason I like, that's why it's so great is iOS just like tells me when my battery is low. That's what's so good about stacks is it actually surfaces the information to you when you need it and then it doesn't otherwise. And that's what, in theory, the smart activation of focus modes can do the same thing, but it's not always as practical. Um, so these are personal focus and yeah, this is a good minimalism version of that kind of thing. And I like, this is a good example of put the same stuff in the same place on either side. Um, I didn't mention this here. Actually, let me see if this is still, I've messed around with a little bit, so this might've been broken, but I had a system where all the work ones. Okay. I did, I ruined it here. Let me switch it back. All of the work ones are have the um, focus activation and stack on the right. And then uh, I got to mess up with the streaming one, but then it was supposed to be all the personal ones had it the opposite. Or if it's personal only, they were on the left, which I don't totally have set up true. So <laughs> it was at least consistent before. I, this was, I think that worked better when I had my... Um, this four four by four stack because then it was like when I switched all the work ones are on the right and they were always in the same place and then it just matched on personal too but I think it's still like I just get so far into with this um and I think also like I should mention that to some degree I don't actually need focus modes for every one of these things if they did just give me a set home screen action I could probably do most of this and not necessarily have to like block all communication but I also kind of like it like it it does fit into the mentality um I think they should just redesign this for having more focus like (laughs) it sounds silly but also it just kind of kills me when some sort of like oh these are going to be long pills that software design dictates how I'm able to use my technology to the degree that I want to so that I kind of find that frustrating. It's like, just stop. Don't limit us just because 16 is too many or there's because there's too many dots here. Like figure something else out. Um, <laughs> um, oh, nice. See, he's got a whole set of different focus modes there. That's smart. I like that. Oh, no, wait. Okay, that's a whole different. Well, I thought that was the same person. Um only in work focus, main home screen with no focus, social on with no focus, vacation, home screens, sports and fitness, sleep. Let's look at these. Nice. I like that. See, they got the four, the four stack, the single, and then the big widgets. 
Ooh, I'm like jealous. I it, I don't think there's any stacks. Does this show you stacks when you like that? It does not. Um, stacks would be good there too. That's there's a lot of opportunity, but it's still like this is a really good example of taking advantage of that, taking advantage of widgets, and then also like, okay, wait, what was that one? The fourth vacation and focus. Yeah, see, that's what I was gonna say. They have more apps on the vacation screen because they actually need them. This is great. I'm gonna just give them. Why are where are all my emojis? I'm gonna do that. Why is it searching for the I am okay? I'll I'll favorite it later. Um, nice. Okay, personal focus only stacked is the podcast one. Nice. Ooh, a good tip. If you're trying to take screenshots of your stacks, they only show for a second but you basically can swipe and then go back and it'll show them again. And then you just gotta be really quick. <laughs> Did I even get them? Nope. Oh yeah, see, then you can t then you can share the depths of your insanity um, with the world. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't joke with those terms. The depths of your efforts, because it is fun. Um, okay, back to the Discord. I love the podcasts. I love those giant widgets and I want to see more. I'm not going to show you my things one because I do always, that's my favorite, but also I didn't check all my tasks beforehand. And so I don't like being like, here's what I haven't gotten done to everybody. Um, let's read some of these descriptions too. Focus shortcuts widget is stacked with each folder of shortcuts, slide over split screen, all set up to run common pairs of apps in specific ways. Nice. That's great. Yeah, like a whole folder just for app pairs is also a great idea. Don't have to go to into the degree that I have. I love this. Um, iPad OS 15, nice. See, this is, I, I would recommend more home screens than something like this because I think this is the point where I totally, why did it, how do you get a screenshot of what looks like a piece? <laughs> I was trying to wipe that off. Um, I think this is what I used to do and I just spent so much time trying to figure I mean these are probably these do look like the default categories which is the a great way to start but I think it's worth it to break out into home screens and get more out of that stuff and even like some of the default apps down below even though those are accessible I think some of those I just don't find that I need to have in my dock like the whole dock situation inside apps is a whole nother situation that I want to, I need to explore more of that in another stream in a video and stuff like that. Um, okay. Let me see what, I guess, let me more look more specifically. AirPods, NPR, log water. Nice. Um, hmm. Yeah. I mean, I think like getting more into some of those third party apps or even some of the stacks like notes is a really good, um, actually I didn't mention that changing the notes one is, is really nice. Um, a lot of these you can customize to show different parts and it's not super obvious. I always change this. It's defaults to regular notes and I do all my notes so that regardless of where it is, I can see it. And so that's really nice. Um, hmm. Yeah, like a social focus would definitely be good. A photography focus. Um, utilities is another one that I don't I don't even bother using those anymore. I keep them in the app library. Yeah, Nice Deliveries is a great app. Nine focus modes. Each is running shortcuts, trigger that starts my time tracking, switches home screens on all devices, and does other stuff. Nice. Cash flow, fitness, leisure, create, nutrition. See, this is like pretty similar I have like the health, uh, I like the nutrition and fitness and those are all sort of separate family type stuff. I kind of have my, see, like I ran out of room and overwhelming it with too much stuff. This is a great example of some focus modes there. Oh, can't scroll if that's open. Oh yeah. This is funny too. When they're off, it has a home screen that just says set focus mode. So, you know. It's pretty, that's pretty smart. Um, oh, nice. This is the one 
does this, this happens on the iPhone, but not the iPad is the widgets actually disappear into the layout. And I really like that. This is the series suggestions widget. So this one always changes. This is one that like, I think I've gone so far that I don't have room for it. I should, I should put it over. I think I have, yeah, okay. I just put those in, but um, I'm gonna use that more. I do really like that. I think for the phone, I'm already trying to do so much that it's showing me random apps kind of messes with my strategy. But on the iPad, I think it's perfect because like I just don't, I don't want to think about my iPad home screen anymore. It doesn't make sense the way that this stuff does. And I still have some of these stacks in different spots. And then just like most of these, I do want to be focused when I'm using my iPad. So I need to do a little bit of like soul searching on the iPad home screen um, still. But I think the difference is I have, this is, this is my iPad home screen. <laughs> or actually, let me go back. See, oh man, this is just so satisfying. Not that one. Okay, yeah, let's just get rid of that. All right, let's do a couple more Discord ones. Um, I do think stacks also could benefit here. It, this is super minimalist, but I will say it probably uses the app right. Oh, no, wait, there's a second screen. That was the second screen. Um, I do, like I was saying though, like having less screens does make the app library more useful. And that's why I like have it like last year, I didn't use the today widget or app library at all. And now I'm, I'm much more into it. Um, all right. I think that's the last submission. Um, I guess I didn't say in there where, let's see if there's any others in here. No, nope, that's all just, so if you do all want to like learn more about shortcuts, I do have this community that I put together where you can kind of come in and share your shortcuts, get help, report bugs, see how other people are doing on the betas and crying along with you. And then I'm trying to do more of just like talking about specific topics. So like if people have iPad tips, we can start dropping them in here and things like that. So I'm just getting this community, like I've had different versions of this, but this has been building over time. Um, so feel free to join. And I've got some new membership stuff that I'm gonna be doing in there too. So like some office hours where I actually help people with their shortcuts, kind of like this, but even having some people come onto the stream. Um, so if you're a member, look out for some of that stuff too. Did anybody in the chat have like specific focus modes that they want me to try to set up or something like that? I mean, I think weekend or even like morning, afternoon, evening can be good ones. I do want to like this kind of setup just helps me. Oh, see, look on my, okay. I guess that one's not as bad. That's my today one. That's it's got duplicates of my uh, morning routine in there that I hadn't, it's a little bit behind this morning. Um, doing an 8 a.m. stream is a little bit, bit different, but I feel like that's most of what I've got for folks today. Done to like just hang out and help everybody else set up more, or maybe, maybe I'll just kind of jump into setting up some of these, the rest of these, because I just need to do it and might as well hang out while we're here. <laughs> wow. Life has never been the same ever since I've seen you. Short. That's awesome. That's mine has never been the same since I found workflow from the original team that put it together. So I'm so grateful for this kind of tool and I'm really excited to just show you more. I want to get into, I'm going to go through each of these in detail in like separate sections and explain all the shortcuts and what I'm doing and how I get my stuff done. Um, but it's going to take a while. There's a lot of, there's a lot here and it took me a lot to get to this point. So I appreciate folks bearing with me, but, um, it's a lot of fun. I appreciate what you do and how far you go. <laughs> yeah, that's, I have gone very far. It's been, it's been a lot. So I appreciate all the support too. Thank you. Um, okay. Here's another one. I'm having trouble with focus. I turn on the location, but the focus doesn't seem to change whenever I arrive at home or work. No, that's a good point. I actually don't really use these because I don't go anywhere. <laughs> oh, the the pandemic has been kept kept me inside, and I do just work from home anyways. Um, so some of that, I think, could be a little more optimized. Um, I do think some of it is based off of the 
recent locations feature in settings and then like if it knows exactly where your work is um some of that is always a little bit weird so i do think some of that smart activation stuff could get honed better and i think this is something too that it'll get better as ios 15 goes on i bet ios 15.1 once it's released should have some of this nailed down a little bit more and i'll try to file feedback specifically about that um just because it would just having like pure reliability on this is what like in theory you get this all up and then you just kind of go and it's actually like really awesome once you're kind of just flowing through it all so that part's fun um this is another problem that does happen um some apps don't do split screen and you kind of do have to like figure it out over time the weird thing this is also a bug with shortcuts if you use that open app action and set it to slide over, but there's no app open, this one is designed for slide over stuff. It just fails. It just like doesn't work at all. And so like it should just open the apps instead of failing. That doesn't really make sense. Um, so that can kind of cause issues. Um, and this is one thing that I was thinking about lately, but you can't set up Apple watches with the iPad. So I think they should do some more of that soon, but I think, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't fit into their their strategy of selling iPhones because they do like to do that. So, <laughs> um, all right. Let me just dive into some of these. I want to see real quick. I think I put them in craft, which is not on this phone. I'm gonna check for that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to find those old screenshots. Here it is. Okay. I just bring those and slide over. I think I did them on the phone too. All right. Just going to start setting some up. I feel like that is the main chunk of this broadcast, so feel free. Um, I will make the replay available for members. I have like a full archive of all of my streams that I'm going to be uh, updating especially soon. Um, but I do basically these just don't YouTube does not like hour and a half long live streams in your feed and kind of destroys you in the algorithm. So but you can always get the replay from the direct link if you save it now. Mm, okay, wait. That was business, which is green and pink. Oh, that's design. Also, like I can tell that there's bugs with shortcuts or with focus modes because half of mine show the icon when I switch into it, but then the other half don't. And I think that's once I've gotten above ten is when it starts to freak out. Um, this one has shortcuts business newsletter planning and design so it's come on shortcuts business newsletter planning design boom oh yeah the hide notification badges is a good thing i didn't mention too oh i also should have mentioned i'm gonna be making a video about all of, everything that i've covered today so that will be made in uh, much more digestible format. Um, <laughs> entertainment. Enjoy the walk. Uh, wait, which one is that? Home research newsletter entertainment. Okay, home research newsletter entertainment. gaming I just realized I'm gonna have to go do this on the other iPad too the iPad mini <laughs> this is just home and entertainment I think health is what I do so at least that and travel that's right 
this is actually that one I see a lot on my iPad because I come back from a walk and it still thinks I'm on that. But I think that's a good example of my automation to turn it off doesn't work. Okay, home ones. So this is kind of like my personal life, but it, I think it just focuses in and it ignores the home screen so I can keep going. This is when I'm like trying to make improvements on the house or just like, this is kind of like my weekend one. Um, what else is that? Sorry. It's like, <laughs> I keep losing my context really quickly. Do I have photos in there? Ooh, and podcasts. Okay. I trust myself. Oh, here's a good, I don't, I kind of use notification summaries. Oh yeah. Here's some more like leave on time sensitive. Um, I tried, I also like it got turned off at some point and I didn't realize, and then I didn't really set it up again. I don't, I don't honestly, I can't really speak to a strategy right now. I'll, I'll try to cover that in a future one, but I think it is like a little bit weird. Um, this mindfulness one, just that. Oh, music's are actually working. I think that's just those two. Oh wait, that's newsletter, my bad. <laughs> this is really nice. I, I just love having this all set up. The photography, I just keep to photography. Planning stuff. Oh, wrong one. It's research, business notes, and then my photography. Okay, I'll I'll run through these all again too once I get them set up because that is the most fun. Podcasting is research, news, and then that special home screen too. See, this is why I love it. It's like, you can really see now just the iterations of what I show myself at any time and how it just like helps to ignore what's not necessary. I don't need to see Apple Maps when I'm trying to do research. Um, what was the last one? I did these out of order. Oh no, where'd you go? There it is. Uh, research, business, newsletter. I will say setting this up is a whole different process than deciding all of this stuff too. Like I am making this look very, very easy or maybe, but uh, I have no idea if it looks easy, but make picking these decisions and coming up with the strategy and everything is what took all the time. But that's kind of like, it's what I'm here for folks. It's, now you don't have to think of all that through. You just do what I have said. <laughs> Home, shortcuts, YouTube, home. Okay. See, like when I'm streaming, I only want to see the specific stuff. Okay, I think I'm almost there. Okay. 
travel and photography and I do keep my home screen. Although like I don't travel with my iPad, but if I'm planning on it, I can at least, or if I'm planning the trip, I can also have a home screen for that. Writing is boom, boom, boom. I think planning. Where, where did side? Oh, it's on that side. <laughs> oh yeah. In the screenshots. Okay. Here we go. Come on. You can see like the custom modes literally over overload my system. I think YouTube is back there. YouTube home research planning. YouTube home research planning. Photography. Oh yeah. Eh, I'll put shortcuts in. Nah, I like it. One thing I do like too, the, this weirdly happened at one point where I think I had also when I switched to the home screen, it the first screen was there. I wish you could pick which screen it would take you to. And there is a weird bug where like, I sent a very specific feedback about this, but look at this. If I'm on the sixth screen and I switch to something that has six or more modes, it will take me to the sixth screen of that and not keep me on the same screen that I'm on. See, or I guess it was seventh, but um, that should take me, it, I should stay on the same screen. It's like a weird bug that makes sense logically and like physically, but it doesn't expectation wise. And so I think that's something they should change. Um, all right, let's just do it. Let's just run through these modes too. Oh, I didn't even mention this. I have a widget here just for work and personal. So that alone is a nice way to swap. And you can see all my home screens just change right away. Like, look at this. I have immediate curated access to all of those. Oh, I feel like doing more planning stuff. Why don't I do this? Boom. The lights are blue behind me also, and I'm focused on this, but actually I think I should switch into research mode. Boom, all the screens are changed. Now I'm in research mode, time tracking. It's probably gonna fail, but so like, <laughs> maybe I should have this part working at the beginning, but this is, this is the big part. So it's like, it really is. I come into my office on Thursday to do my podcast and my home screen is set like this already for my podcast and I'm ready to go. So I feel like there's so much here and this is just like, this is awesome. Um, I think I'm going to stop now, but I do want to do this again soon. And I might, I'm going to do it on a stream. I might, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it public or members one, but I'm going to do different home screens depending on the device and really figure out which one is the best at which task and then get rid of some of these stacks because yeah i mean i see i already i just heard myself say that and then i was like no because i want to have everything everywhere but i do think focusing in by the device also and the actual context is the next level and that's that's where i gotta go so that's going to be my fun goal to cover next. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be it for today's stream. Um, I really appreciate everybody tuning in and hanging out. It's been, whoop, sorry, <laughs> switched to the wrong channel. I feel like we've had a lot of people in here and this has been, this has been fun hanging out. Um, definitely let me know in the chat or in comments later, or if you're like rewatching this, what kind of stuff you want to see for focus more modes or home screens. Um, I'm going to be sharing all the shortcuts here um, and the apps and the actions for those coming soon. And then also just like specific curated pages that show you my always updated home screens for memberships uh, for people in my membership program so that you can always dive in and look through these one by one and see what's available. And I'll have links and descriptions and everything. So it's kind of been my fun project for the summer and I hope you all enjoy it. So 
Thanks. Uh, thanks for all the questions, Gabriel. Those were awesome questions. I always love chat that helps make the stream better. So you, I always appreciate it. Thanks guys. And ladies and anyone else too. Um, I think that's going to be it for today. Hour and 40 minutes sounds pretty good to me. I will see you all in a future stream. All right. Bye everybody. <laughs>